right, guys. So today we are going to be figuring out how to get a higher amount of kills in Warzone. And the only real way to actually learn to get better at Warzone is either one, play a lot of Warzone, two, like, get tips on youtube and three do vod reviews of your own gameplay that is definitely i feel like one of the best ones because you get to choose like figure out what issues you really have and after doing a vod review of my own gameplay um i think these three tips will actually really help you guys if you guys are trying to improve your your like gameplay and get more kills also i'm kind of doing this on top of my head so i'm sorry if i kind of stumble on whatever i say but my three tips that i want to tell you guys about is your pace of play um your information you have and also your money right uh here we know that there's enemies on this backside here but i have a very slow pace of play okay right here i'm trying to like wait for someone to walk over and i could try to get a down or something because pushing those staircases are one of the worst ones to do just because uh they can hear you way before you hear them also they have high ground so i'm wasting a lot of my time here i was able to get a crack not a down but i'm wasting so much time here trying to like do something and also on top of that my pace of play here is really slow because Honestly, all you really need is an SMG and three full plates to actually make it work. But here, I already have I already have all that. I have eight extra plates. But what am I doing? I'm holding corners. I'm taking my time. I'm trying to get a nice pick, like a, a perfect situation. And that's not going to happen all the time. You need to be more aggressive or I need to be more aggressive. We need to be more aggressive if we want more kills in Warzone. Um, here. It took me about 40 minutes or 40 seconds to even figure out like, okay, I'm going to go on the roof because pushing the stairs is a, like a death sentence. So I take so long to actually decide that I'm going to go up here to actually engage on these enemies. So pace of play is very important if you want high amount of kills. And you got to remember, all you really need is SMG and three plates. Here, I was able to get a nice down and I got a crack. I would have finished that guy, but sadly, there was another guy on the right side of this building of this tower and i don't know that because I, we don't have information right um earlier we had enough money for a uav and a lodi but we decided not to do that instead we decided to push and also i wasn't being verbal enough with my teammates to drop my money and be like all right you guys need to go buy this or drop your money and i'll go buy this you know um and here we we do it again same mistake right uh, in the moment you might not realize it but by doing these bot reviews you realize how much you're messing up um in my head look at me i'm wasting so much time right i have an smg i'm like oh i'm gonna pick up this gun and i'm gonna do this and i'm like oh maybe i need to open this one and get more plates but that is such a waste of time because i am not increasing the amount of gunfights to get more kills in warzone also in this part right here i end up trying to help my teammate in this hallway and this hallway is just a waste of time for me because i'm trying to get either uh i'm trying to get a down in this hallway realistically because they have so many angles to actually kill me if i push up without getting a down if i got just a crack they will still have different angles on me they will still have the number advantage it's a waste of time but here i am just waiting for people to walk in front of my iron sights so i can actually get some kills um and i just waste so much time that's all i'm doing here you're just gonna see how much time i waste uh instead of actually being more aggressive and uh getting into more gunfights so here i was able i was able to finally push on the roof get a knock here and we are just wasting our time here wasting and wasting our time um if you see the look how much money we have right we have 1900 no, nineteen thousand dollars right it's already second circle we don't have a uav up we don't have our loady up this is such a big issue for your pace of play which brings me to the second one is our money usage right like i was saying we are not using our money fast enough when we have it right we could have a ua we could have uav and loady here but instead we're not we're still taking our time to try to figure out what information we have and or we're trying to take our time to gather the information which is why we're wasting our time just like on top of this roof we're like okay so there's people at terrace there's people on top of this tower on the right there's the people on the top of this tower on the left we're just totally wasting our time here when we could be using our money to actually increase our pace of play to get into more gunfights and possibly win those gunfights by executing and also increasing our amount of kills towards the end of the match right um and like i said you're gonna see this throughout you're gonna see a big mistake throughout this whole gameplay is just like how slow i'm playing here compared to when resurgence actually ends um so let me just go ahead and skip forward here 
right? We're trying to engage people. We're trying to get information from people. When I have enough money to buy UAV, there is a buy on the back side of keep and the front side of keep, but I'm still not using my money to actually buy anything, right? And then here, I'm just going to skip it forward because we end up trying to find a dude. We're going to try to chase this guy down, but somehow he gets away and we waste so much time just trying to chase him. And then eventually we were able to get a fight here going, right? And it's been eight minutes in. We only got two kills. Finally, we get a third kill and it's been eight minutes in, right? Um, and look at how much money we all have. It took me about nine minutes to realize that I actually have enough money to buy a UAV. And I finally went to go buy a UAV because... I believe I ended up having, yeah, I ended up having $10,000 and I was like, oh shit, I should buy a UAV. You know, like you definitely got to be more conscious of how much money you have and to make sure that you use your money and know where the buy stations are. You know, like I wasn't paying attention to the buy stations. I was just trying to be like, okay, where can I go next? But I was still playing it too slow when I had the opportunities to get into these gunfights. Um, and here we finally buy the UAV and just look at the amount of information I have now since I bought the UAV, right? So now we know that there's still people in this tower on this left side. We know that there's two people in keep and there's about three people on this right side towards church. So what are we going to do now? Now we're finally picking up our pace because we have the information because we used our money, right? Uh, and now we're increasing our pace of play to get higher amount of kills. So we're pushing this guy he's down low here and we were able to get a nice slide and, and kill him luckily he had no plates he had no idea that i was coming towards him but here this is a bad decision on me too we already have information up to show where everyone's at right there's a whole bunch of people over here on this right in front of me there's people on tower but the thing is all these people are at winery or like further down what i should have done is rotate right towards church to try to engage these enemies at church and get as many kills as i can there um before resurgence end because i can play aggressive because if i die i'm just gonna come back right that's that should be my mindset but for some reason in this game i just was not thinking that way and i was just playing it super slow so right here this is what i'm talking i was talking about earlier about how i missed messed up like my tempo or my pace of play through the whole game because now if you look resurgence has finally ended and now i'm playing more aggressive because we have the information because we have we were using our money but the bad thing about this is i'm playing aggressive once Resurgence end. If I die, it's over, right? So hopefully, my teammates still have enough money to buy me back. But here, we're able to get a nice kill on this dude. We're going towards his bottom section because if you can see on the mini map pings, there's a lot of air down aerials. So we're paying attention to that, and also we're getting like audio cues that people are fighting. So we're pushing down here, and we're gonna try to execute this fight right here. So we know this guy went left, and they're still fighting on this left hand side. So what do we do? We do a nice slide cancel, and we prepare to actually engage in this. So I already have my sights down. I'm about to shoot this dude. The one thing I could have improved here is my shot placement. As you can see, like I'm shooting at his like lower torso area, so that's like a bad damage multiplier. What I wanted to do is like actually hit him in the top, upper torso, neck, head. Uh, so my, my shot placement or centering could have been a lot better here, but we're able to get the kill and now we're starting to get more, uh, engagements because the circles are starting to get a little bit smaller and we have more information. So just make sure you guys remember to use all your money when you actually have it. Luckily we were able to clutch this and I end up getting 12 kills in this match, but I could have had so much more kills if I was being more aggressive in the beginning. If you look at it right now, it is the fourth circle. And there's still seven, seven like squads left, right? 18 people up, maybe 15. We're not counting my team, but just think about how many people are still left. And like, if I had played more aggressive in the beginning, I could have at least dropped like 15, three extra kills in the beginning, right? I could have 15. Um, if I had like six more kills in the beginning, I could have dropped like a 20 or like, is that right? Did I count that right? I don't know if I count that right, but you know what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to say like, if I increase my pace of play in the beginning, you could have had a higher amount of kills. Um, but also here, I would just kind of want to talk about end circle game. Um, here, there's a team above us 
and our teammate is knocked and she's giving call outs about where they are uh there's still people in this freaking tower here one of the most annoyingest place to push um but one of my teammates is going up and i'm holding this bottom floor and the reason why we both didn't go up is because if you look at this end circle uh there's not actually not much room inside circle to actually hold that high area so those people are gonna have to eventually drop down anyways so i'm holding this area down here and he pushes up i could have pushed up that ladder but instead i went back inside the circle because i have a gas mask so i'm just trying to surprise him put him in a trap luckily they dropped down they didn't know what the heck was happening killed both of them and now there's still four squads left uh 11 to 9 uh, 11 to yeah nine people left um and here we're just gonna like clutch it up but sadly like i said we could have had way more kills if we just like played more aggressive towards the beginning or during the beginning um but here we're gonna just talk about end circle and how i kind of played it so here i'm just trying to hold this angle because i'm trying to catch people rotating to the top because you always want high ground towards the end um sadly we didn't get anybody rush up those stairs that guy rotated back down and in here uh people were on top of the roof so i just tried i decided like oh am i gonna push up the roof or what am i gonna do so i decided using my airstrike because there's actually not much cover on top of the roof there so they're gonna have to jump down so i slightly wasted my time going up there when i could have just used my airstrike in the beginning but that's totally fine and then right here we get caught off guard with this guy this, a dude's gonna push right through this door right so he pushes through but the reason why i won this gunfight is because he was an idiot and he went prone so if you look at that again he ran he went here who went prone he had first shots on me i lost three plates i lost half of my base health but because he went prone and i was i had the extra movement to actually move forward and kind of break his camera um i was able to get all the shots on him and get a kill on this guy also he gave a call to his teammate that like i'm one shot um, if you look at this map right here, I got a ping that he's actually holding the outside of that door. Um, I already know that because he came out of that area, his teammate is most likely going to be on the outside as well, which is why I made the rotation to the left to be a little bit more unpredictable. But here you're going to see me. I am super lucky. And at the same time, uh, I was able to put in some movement to actually increase my chance of winning this gunfight. So here I'm armoring up. I'm only two plates. And then we break each other's camera right on accident we didn't expect each other to be right there at that moment but right here he's he's shooting to my left side and i was able to just i don't shoot right away because he's already focusing on me i jump to my right and then i hit fire and ads right if we go back and we look at this gunfight right here you're gonna actually see that he just stays there the whole time he doesn't strafe left or right um as you can see right here the bullet the tracers are going to my left side and i jump right right but but just focus on how he's not moving when he's shooting at me this is a very crucial thing when it comes to warzone because if you're on a controller there's rotational aim assist that actually greatly helps your aim assist um it's actually very strong and you guys should definitely use it if you're on controller and on mouse and keyboard we don't have that like luxury of doing that so your best bet is just to move as much as you can and make them miss their shots uh, but luckily i was able to get this kill and I used, I used all nine of my bullets and here we just clutch it up because luckily there's a buy on top of this roof i was able to buy both my teams back because my dumbass did not buy any uavs any whatever this whole damn time so i just had a whole chunk of money uh with me to hold and right here we're on top of the circle i don't jump down right away because i know that they're most likely looking at me because i just bought from this buy uh luckily my teammate was able to mark one of them and i peek over and i just get a nice down on this dude right here and i did not push right away and the reason why i didn't push right away is because both their teammates already know i'm there if one of his teammates is on his left or something in the market if i jump down right away he could have like killed me so i backed up i popped my uav get this thirst and then we were able to catch that last guy and finally kill him all right so we end up winning that game and we end up winning with 12 kills and like i said if i increase my pace of play we could have had a lot higher uh kills at the end of that match but some very important things to remember is just the fact that your pace of play is very important and to improve your pace of play to get more kills you need information and to get more information you need to use your money or just be aware of your surroundings and 
push as much as you guys can so if you guys like this video do me a favor smash that like button and if you guys learn anything let me know in the comments and also let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this go ahead and subscribe because i want to see more warzone warzone 2 mw2 gameplay i'll see you guys next time peace